Welcome to the third and final episode of Plattsburgh Tonight. Garrett, this is our season finale. It is. How does that make you feel? Uh, a little nostalgic. I'm going to look back on this with fond memories and not so fond memories. We like, had a good run. Yeah, we did. Do you think we'll be back for uh, season two? I do. I don't know if it's going to be next semester or, you know. I'm in taking the next management year. next semester. So you it'll are? Be, if, yeah, it'll be next semester. Heck yeah, dude. And maybe this time you'll do something heavy lifting, you know, like carry a camera when we go out to do a field shoot. Or maybe give the crew a heads up uh, more than like three hours about a field shoot. So I gave maybe them, somebody would show up. I gave them like a four hour. Four hour head window? Start, yeah. yeah, you're right. But you know, Garrett, I'm going to be honest. Go ahead. The next segment is like the one where we go out and we film, like talking to people on the street. We haven't filmed it yet. We're looking uh, forward to it, though. We are looking forward to it. Maybe we're going to talk to people about what they're doing this summer talk about how the end of the semester is going, because there are three weeks left. This is true. So who knows what we're going to talk about. Either way... Sounds like summer and what people's plans are. Most, most likely. Yeah. See, we should do a total, like, 180 and talk to people about, like... Winter. Winter. Next winter. Or, like, what's, like, something, like, out of pocket? I mean, we could talk to them about, like, I don't know, how to, like, launder money. Oh. Like, you know... Do you know? I don't know. But we could find out when we this talk to people. True. That's this why we true. go talk to people. We're I like, how do you do this? What's like, how do you We could ask them what the last illegal thing they did was. That'd be a good one, actually. That Maybe works. we'll do something like that. Hook them Maybe up to a little bit of both. Test. Hmm? Hook them up to a lie detector test, like a uh, what's that machine called? The lie detector machine. Yeah, there's a name for it. I don't know. I know what you're talking about, but I don't think yeah. we can get one of those. Yeah. It's probably pretty. What's well, going to my mind is not correct at all. I don't know. Any, do you guys know what the, it's called? Polygraph. Poly oh, is. someone knows it. Oh, perfect. Yeah, we can get a polygraph machine. Walk around with a giant machine. Right. Make people sit down in front of us. You're going to carry it this time, though, right? I'll carry it. You okay. carry the camera. I'll carry the polygraph. Right. Uh, I'm assuming it comes with a chair. So we got to we got to walk around with the big chair. I'll too. probably just wheel it. Has it got wheels? I tie it to your back. I feel like that would affect the test. Can't. We should we should like go to a dance class together. I think we should. Yeah. You can bring your girlfriend. That could be your third wheel. Wow. Yeah. Wouldn't that be fun? Or your girlfriend can end up being the third wheel. Just you and me. Yeah, main. you and me. That'd be cool. I think it'd be fun. Nice, like, nice bonding after, like, the show. Yeah. We got, we got a big summer ahead of us, so maybe I'll drive to wherever you live. Whoa. And it's kind of a haul, don't you think? Yeah. I, I, I got time, you know? I'm looking yeah. to do a road trip. Are you bring your girlfriend? Nope. <laughs> oh, okay. No, she doesn't want to go, yeah. Ah, oh, bummer. <laughs> well, anyways, you know, take a look at what we filmed. I'm sure it turned out subpar. Uh, but after that... We're going to be talking with Ivan Diaz playing Would You Rather, so uh, stick around. The Student Association stands by their motto of students servicing students. They provide funding for student-run clubs and organizations. Also, activities for students to participate in on campus. In addition, they also provide academic and diversity resources as well as the campus shuttle. Student Association, the Pulse of Plattsburgh. Do you guys know what PSTV is? Yes. Oh, f what are your plans for the summer? Work. I'm working at a daycare. At a daycare? Yeah. Your communication science? Yeah. Yes. You like working with children? Yes. I hate kids. I don't like infants, we you know. Love children. You love children. Own, yeah. Like in a weird way or like No, in like a maternal way. A I'm going on vacation. Uh, where are you going? I'm going to Disney. Oh, sh you got money, huh? Disney money. All right. <laughs> I can't I can't afford the $1,000 per hour at Disney anymore, so yeah, it's not cheap, sadly, but it's worth it to me. What about you? Nothing. Relax. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. All right. What's your name? Aaron. Aaron. What about you? Lisa. Lisa? Yeah. All right, that's a very, like, middle-aged mom name. You get that a lot? I get that. Yeah, yeah, I get that a lot. I get that a lot. It's like a Karen name, but whatever. You know what you should do this summer is you should watch PSTV every day. Go on our YouTube channel. When you wake up, watch PSTV. Show it to the kids. Show it to the kids. <laughs> watch PSTV. When you go to bed and you're not watching PSTV anymore, wear headphones and and stream that into your subconscious while you sleep. Okay. All right? Our, okay. our executive producer, if he was here right now and he found out that you guys didn't watch PSTV, he would literally explode. I wouldn't want that at it all. It makes me want to watch. Okay, yeah. Jeff, we got some viewers for you. Are you a student? Yes. What's What year are you? Sophomore. Sophomore? You've never heard of PSTV? No. Uh, that's kind of depressing. Our executive producer would probably kill you if he heard you say that. Uh, what are you doing out here? 
Uh, take your right in. Oh, so you're a narc. <laughs> I guess he called that. I mean. Do you get paid for that? Yeah. Are you wearing the vest? Is that part of the job? Nah, it's just what I do. You just wear the vest? That's like your occupation? Yeah, it's, uh, no, but it helps me carry things. See? Ticket envelopes. Oh. What plans you got for this summer? Uh, probably not much. Just work. You know what you should do this summer? What's that? You should watch PSTV this summer. I want you to wake up every day. <laughs> every, every day you wake up, you want, I want you to turn on PSTV. 8 in the morning, I want you to turn on PSTV. When you go to bed at 7 o'clock at night, I want you to turn on PSTV. And when you're sleeping, you got headphones and you're listening to it subconsciously. Uh, what are your plans for the summer? Uh, probably just to come upstate, do some pe high peaks. Upstate is where you want to spend your summer vacation? Well, Alright, what is the last illegal thing that you did? Smoked weed. That's not illegal. Oh, what? It's It's been legalized in New York. But I'm only 18. We, we, we're talking more like actual like crimes like that you could get arrested for. I don't want to admit to that then. So what's the last illegal thing you did? I don't do that many illegal things. The way you backed up and you like said it like that makes me think that you might do illegal things. Jack, what do we think? Does she do illegal things? I'm thinking murder. Oh, I think okay. murder too. Oh, wow, that's, that's a lot. You kidnap kids or murder? No, not... On my free time, no. What are you doing this summer? Uh, nothing. You're not going on vacation anywhere? Uh, maybe. Work. Where do you work? work. Lifeguard. You're a lifeguard? Yeah. Uh, is that like... Jack is panicking behind the camera right now, realizing he might not be going to Myrtle Beach with this person. What's your name? Dylan. What is like the last illegal thing you did? Hmm. Does a traffic violation count? What, what kind of violation? I took... I, you know the sign out here where it says, don't take a left from two to four? Yeah. I took a left. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> Me and this guy both got allergies. How's your experience with allergies? Oh, uh, I'm literally dying. What are you doing this summer, Dion? Um, summer classes and potentially starting a business. What business? Oh, uh, I want to start flipping cars. Okay. Uh, what is the last legal thing you did? I don't do illegal things. He's a CA. But Dion, we both know a lot of the CAs in community living do illegal things. Yes, I... I personally do not partake in those illegal things. Kayla, you're next. Front and center. Now, Kayla, do you know what PSTV is? I think so. What is it? It's PSTV. But if Jeff found out that you only watched my show on PSTV and not any of the other shows, especially his show, he'd probably blow up. He'd blow up guts everywhere. Do you want that to happen? What's going on? I have allergies. Like, Dion, we've been over this. I feel like we're being really loud in here, and this is like a place of business. I feel so awkward in here. Like, I'm totally out of my element. <laughs> like, you guys, should, we should have done this outside, man. All right, thank you for your time. Is there anything else you want to say? We're doing our own thing. Those people are running from something. We, get, we should be worried, guys. Anyways, what are you guys doing this summer? Working. Working. <laughs> Grad school. You guys are so specific. You work at Chipotle? Yeah. Do you get free food? Yeah. Like, how much free food? As much as I want. I work as much as you want? Yeah. Like, is it actually free, or do you, like, steal it? I mean, it's free to me. Isn't that the same thing? <laughs> I don't know, is it? I mean, like, I'm asking you. You're the one that works there. I worked at the donut shop, and I got free food. But by free food, I just put bagels in a trash can and then take it to my car. But, like, it was by no means free. Watch PSTV this summer. It's going to be a lot of f***ing fun. Warp Radio runs on Charter Channel 194, Campus Channel uh, 10 here on campus. It gives Plattsburgh students an opportunity to be a radio DJ and see if that's something they have interest in for a future career path. You're listening to WARP, Charter Channel 194, Campus Channel 10, Plattsburgh, New York. Welcome back to Plattsburgh tonight. We got Yvonne Diaz joining us tonight on our final episode of the season. Yes. So, uh, Yvonne, how you doing? You good to be here? Yeah, I'm honored to be here. You're honored to be here? Yeah. Like, why Like, are you why? Honored? Because, I don't know, people don't really ask me to be on their show. <laughs> well, Mikey. Yeah, it's almost like you were like a diversity um, hire or something. Almost? I said that exactly what it was, honestly. Yeah, now, now we, you know, Yvonne, we're good friends. Right. And I feel like because you haven't been on, like, the shows, like, you were on Sean's show, but we haven't had you on, and I don't think you were in, like, any other shows. You, you weren't in Mikey's Live Night. Yeah. That's true. But you weren't in Mikey's show. No, I wasn't. Yeah. I premiered in his Live Night, and yeah. I'm not sure if I'm going to be in the second episode, but we'll see where he takes. So, because of that, we wanted to have you on our show, and, right. you know. Right, not because Josh hadn't had a female on... 
or a non-Caucasian person as a guest. Yeah, that's totally not why. We just really love hanging out with you. Right. Cool. And we felt like you had, you know, a lot to say. Yeah. And we wanted you on the show to, you know. What? I feel like that's not true, but anyways. <laughs> like you said, you went to Einstein's. We were talking about you uh, going to Einstein's early before you came on here. We didn't, like, push you aside and say, like, that don't talk about I mean, that. you we didn't don't really ask. Care. I just started talking. <laughs> <laughs> and then we cut you off because we were done with the mic check. Right. And that's the only reason you were talking in the first place. Right. But other than that, we really <laughs> like hanging out with you. You're really fun to hang out with. Cool. Yvonne, we're going to play. Uh, Yvonne. Yvonne. Have I been saying your name wrong this um, entire time I've known you? I mean, people say Yvonne, but it's like, it's Yvonne. <coughs> Yvonne. Yeah. What was Garrett calling you earlier? I said Yvonne. As Ivan. a joke, because the first letter is I. Yeah. But you yeah. seriously mispronounced it. <laughs> 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 That's just because we're such good friends and that we can joke around like that, you know? <laughs> 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 All right, we're going to play some Would You Rather. Okay. Um, are you ready to start? Yeah. Okay. Yvonne. Is Yvonne. playing too? Yvonne. Uh, if he wants to chime in, I think you should. He can he okay. can go for it. Would you rather take a bite out of a baby, or take a bite out of a ninety year old man? Hmm. So baby back ribs, or <laughs> flavorful old meat. I mean, would it be flavorful if it's old? I feel like it have a lot. It have a little. It'll have a lot of like nutrients because it's old. It's like you know. No. No. You no. Could, that's probably not. I think all I, the nutrients honestly, are gone. Honestly, I already. I'm picturing like somebody old and decrepit. Oh, that's true. Like we see when old people and their skin is like a different kind of like elastic. If they're diabetic, it'd be sweet. But baby meat is fresh. Well, only if like they'd had sugar recently. So. I yeah. think I'd do baby. I'd go baby. Garrett? I'd go baby too. Baby meat? All right. Yeah. Final verdict. What do you guys think? Baby? Baby. 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 Perfect. Whoa. All right. Next one. <laughs> Yvonne. Yes. Let's say you have an option, or you have a chance to flip a coin. Uh -huh. If it's tails, you get $10 billion. But if it's heads, you die instantly. Would you flip the coin? Or would you, like, not risk it? You know, it's interesting because you wouldn't even know how the coin ended, like, the flip, if you died. Like, if you died instantly, I feel no like I feel like, I feel like I feel like I'd flip the coin. Because if God wants me to die in that very moment, then that's, that's his plan, you know? But it's up to fate. <laughs> it's up to like, you know. No, it's not. It's up to a coin flip. It's a 50 50 shot. It's 50 50, but like. It's not fate. It is fate. It is fate, I guess. Is it? Because if, if, if you're supposed to still be living, then you'd be alive with the 10 bands. Ten, it's more than 10 bands. Well, what's 10, what, billion, it's 10 dollars. billion? 10 billion dollars. Well, 10 billion, right? Yeah. But if, if it's your time to go. No. Then it's your time to go. I don't. Garrett, you seem to disagree. Would you not flip the coin? No. I don't think I'd flip it either. I just feel like you're scared. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to die instantly, like from a coin flip. I mean, and like what Garrett said, you wouldn't even know what you got. I was like Can 60, I choose like... when to flip the coin? My grandma's like 90 something. So I think, and she's still kicking it. So she, oh, she's she? flipping so, that coin. So, yes. <laughs> yeah, she's flipping that coin. <laughs> so if I was, if I was yeah, 90. Yeah, I'd go run. If I was like 95, you know, old, live my life, you know, not doing much, I'd flip the coin. I flip the coin. Okay, and if but I like, die, I die. In this scenario, like you have like one right opportunity. Now, it's like, today. They're like, flip this coin, like, do you want to flip it? If you like say today. no, you can't like come back when you're like 90 and be like, I wanna flip it. Like that's <laughs> that's that's not how that works. Okay, so, like, so if someone came to me today and gave me those options, I had to pick it. Like if Jeff walked in right now and said, I'm gonna like, do you wanna flip this coin? And like just like we talked about, you either die or you get ten billion dollars. Like you have to in that moment decide. You can't say like come back later like if you say no that's it like he's gonna leave he's gonna disappear maybe he'll die <laughs> jeff is gonna disappear yeah, jeff dies. Maybe, maybe he'll die jeff flips the coin instead so now with, with that Jeff's information or he dies with that information would you flip the coin or no i feel like i still flip the coin <laughs> <laughs> like, i would still flip the coin all right i mean teach their own got what do you guys think flip the coin you would, I would. yeah He's saying he's the only reasonable one here, I think. But <laughs> I agree. I wouldn't flip the coin either. I know you wouldn't. I, I just feel like like you would flip it. I'm a You're a gambler. <laughs> <guy. laughs> would you rather be able to punch someone? That one. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll, I'll just finish it for the viewers. Okay. But would you rather be able to punch someone once a month with like no consequences or... Would you rather get a free meal once a month from your favorite restaurant? Mm. 
a free meal once a month? Once a month. Or punch someone once a month? Yeah. I'd punch someone once a month. Me too. I would totally do it. I feel it. like sometimes people need to be punched. Yeah, I, right? I think I'm the same way. Uh -huh. Where like, I'd punch someone, like maybe first of the month, I'm talking to someone and I'm just like, you know what, I'm going to punch them. Because uh -huh. I mean, I, I get that all the time. Where like, do you? I, yeah. Like, like if today was the day I could punch, I think I would punch you. <laughs> no, I think after this, you'd realize the logic when you rewatch the film. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Right. And you'd be like, no, he's, he's just being smart. It's just making sense. Or annoying, either oh. way. <laughs> but, I second that. No, I don't. But yeah, I think I'd get carried away too. Where, Your Scorpio's like, I, really coming out right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to like restrain myself to like punch someone, I think, because I'd be like, I already punched someone like this month. But it would just be hard to kind of like, you I, know what, after like a year of doing that, like yeah. that much power, like I think you, you would get carried away. Yeah. Like, would you punch the same person over and over again? That'd be fun. No <laughs> like, I know people like maybe, Wait, wait, wait. Do they remember you punching them? Or they just can't do anything I about it? We'll say they remember, but they can't do anything about yeah, it. Yeah, because there's no consequences. Maybe December, January, and February. Like those three months out of the year, I'd punch the same person. Where Why I, those I'd go to, I'd go to like their place. Yeah, December. Not as much light, not as much vitamin D. He's just feeling down in the dumps. Yeah. Oh. You, know I mean? you just need to sock some. So there'd be so much more rage in this fist. <laughs> like, would you... Hit the same person over and over again? To mess with them, maybe, yeah. <laughs> to yeah. mess with them? Yeah. So I mean, they, if one punch didn't land as good, I can you see doing it again. You know what I mean? Yeah. See, this would be better, I think, if, like, once a week you got to hit someone. an example? Once a week is crazy. I think once a week is a lot. Yeah, that's, that's too that's much. You're very violent you if really you're punching someone it. once a week. How many times can you punch them? Once? Yeah, just one time. Oh. Just one time. So, like, if you it's do mess it up, you would have to wait. The next the, until the next month to do I think it. spent a lot of time on this. But like, I, I like talking about this, dude. I I'm getting know. excited. <laughs> like, you could punch someone on like April 30th, and then on May 1st, punch that same oh, person. Oh, it's not like every 30 the next day. day. <laughs> it's just a month. Yeah, like I think that would be like the ultimate prank. Like maybe you. That's could, a prank. Maybe you could even do it like. I at, do it January to February because it's short month February. Yeah. You know what I mean. You maybe 11:59. You punch someone on April 30th, and May 1st, 12 a.m. Yeah, midnight. Yeah. Punch the other. Again. Other hand. I like that. Just go like yeah. Yeah. No, I like that. <laughs> yeah, we really did spend a lot of time on this. <laughs> what would you guys do? Punch someone or a free meal? Punch someone. I think most people. I think punch yeah. Someone. I think you had to think of something more like. It'd be harder to pick know. between. But I did not. I thought it was just gonna be like a simple like, oh, I'd punch someone. Moving on. Well. Um, but oh well. <coughs> You're the one who got really into it. <laughs> Dude, like I said, I you really were there that like, weird smirk on your face. I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna like pray to like get this power so I can just like punch someone and like <coughs> just be able to do that once a month. I, f I love that. I think that's so fun. Let's start wrapping up. Like jeggings. Yvonne, is there anything you want to say to the viewers before we dip? No. All right, sick. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching to those Thank of you, you that watched. So much. For those of you that didn't watch, we thrive on your disinterest. See you next semester, Plattsburgh, hopefully. Yeah. That was actually uh, funny. Did thanks, you write that Thanks one? for tuning in. I thought about it on the spot. I'm good like that. Uh, see you next season. Cat's cheek.